take a look at this this is tamarind this is what it looks like outside of the shell guys if you know anything about this fruit it is super 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 sour and tart every time i use this fruit it reminds me of this sour head candy you know the one that makes you shiver and make your face look distorted when you eat it yes that one is keep on watching because i'm going to share with you two simple ingredients that you can use to transform these tarty sour tamarind into a sizzling refreshing summer drink that i believe you're gonna add to your recipes guys you don't want to miss this stay tuned first thing I do to prepare this drink is to soak the pulps in warm water for a few hours. Guys, take a close look at this and you will see how plump these tamarind are. They are full of little beady seeds just like this one. And soaking your pulps is one of the easier way to remove the seeds. Okay, <laughs> this is not gonna work. Removing the seeds individually is gonna be too time consuming. So I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on and just get this thing moving much, much faster. Guys, I'm doing this video and I'm just thinking how some of you are like, man, oh man, I couldn't drink this juice on a regular basis because it is so sour, it is so tarty. Uh-uh, not for me, but here it is. The polyphenols in tamarind have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. What this does, it helps our heart, it helps our liver. And guys, if you're watching this video on Sturgis so just today and you're diabetic, this is a fruit that you may want to look into some more because it can help lower blood sugar. Just a little heads up right there. Take some more look into it and see if it's for you or if it can help to lower your blood sugar. Zine. We're finished separating the seeds from the pulps. Now let's strain this, these seeds off and these extra pulps. Guys, my idea is to get at least three cups of drinks and I want as much pulps as I can and the strainer is a perfect tool that you can use for this. So once this is finished straining, I'm going to show you those two ingredients that's gonna make a world of difference for you making tamarind juice. The two ingredients that I've been raving about earlier, I'm assuming you always get these at the grocery store because they're so useful. The first one is ginger. Guys, it is already blended and strained. It is about one cup ginger. This right here is slightly peppery and sweet, so it's gonna elevate that tangy sour taste of the tamarind, making it a little more mellow. The next ingredient is good old sugar. I'm using granulated sugar. Guys, the primary balance between sourness is sweetness. So using sugar, and I'm just using enough, it will create that balance we need for these drinks. Guys, this is the end result. The thing shot. <laughs> That's all I can say. It is incredibly refreshing. It's not overpowering with sweetness or tanginess the ginger gives it this mellow little feel down your throat kind of tingly and the sugar which i didn't use a lot of it and if you don't use sugar you could use honey you could use maple syrup whatever your choices are but guys this one takes the cake love it absolutely love it so i'll see you soon well, good peace